During World War II, millions of Americans took up arms to fight totalitarianism and racism abroad. Yet in 1941, America was a deeply racist nation, and the military, like many other American institutions, was largely segregated. Throughout the war, reformers worked to end racial discrimination in the military. With Congress largely controlled by powerful Southern Democrats who staunchly supported racial separation, FDR felt he could not broadly challenge military segregation. Yet World War II provided FDR with opportunities to take action against discrimination without having to go to Congress and to create an environment in which minorities could advance in the military. During the war, blacks were admitted to the Marine Corps for the first time, and the Army Air Corps ended its ban on black pilots. With strong public support of First Lady Eleanor Roosevelt, nearly 1,000 black pilots were trained at Alabama's Tuskegee Institute. Many of the Tuskegee Airmen eventually served in combat in Europe and North Africa in the all-black 99th Pursuit Squadron. None of the bombers escorted by the unit was ever lost to enemy fire. Here yeah, for the first time, Negro aviation cadets were being groomed to fly warplanes of a unit which was then a unit and fought only, the 99th Pursuit Squadron. Americans of Mexican, Latino, and Asian descent, as well as Native Americans, were also given unprecedented opportunities in the nation's military.